Well, he was sworn to uphold the law, but a former police officer accused of beating his wife and stepchild faces serious criminal charges. As this case makes its way through the court, the victim's parents hope the prosecutors won't be lenient on the former police officer. Christina Flores following the story. And uh, Christina, is the case going to go to trial? Well, at this time it's not clear yet, Mark, but the prosecutor told me today there is a possibility that he could still offer John Spencer a deal in order to avoid a trial, but deal or no deal, the victim's family says they just want justice. John Spencer resigned from the Centerville Police Department in May after he was arrested by officers in Layton. In court papers, prosecutors allege that after arguing with his wife, Spencer grabbed his wife's head and slammed it into the tiled floor several times. And when his five-year-old stepdaughter tried to stop him from hurting her mother, Spencer grabbed the child by the hair and slammed her head into the tiled floor several times. Is there anything you'd like to say about the case? In court Monday morning, neither Spencer, who's pleaded not guilty, nor his attorney made comments. The Davis County prosecutor, Bill McGuire, only said over the phone he could still offer Spencer a deal in exchange for a guilty plea. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure uh, there are the consequences are, are just. Armando Gutierrez is the father of Spencer's wife and alleged victim. He hopes if a deal is offered, the state will not ask Spencer to face anything less than a felony. Delcy Gutierrez says their granddaughter still relives the alleged I abuse. Say, to this day, my granddaughter is totally afraid of any police officers that she comes across. And right now, John Spencer faces three felony charges, one for child abuse, one for domestic violence in the presence of a child, one for aggravated assault. The prosecutor said if he were to offer John Spencer a deal, a felony charge would almost certainly be part of that. And Mark and Michelle, again, John Spencer and his attorney say they have no comment until the case moves forward. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Christina.